Today I'm going to get AI to help me build a bomb. This is something that experts are worried terrorists are going to start doing, and I want to see if they're onto something. So I'm just going to start by going to chat GPT how to make a napalm bomb. Okay, it said no. That's good. Let's try again. This time I'm going to try to get around its safeguards by asking it to tell me a story about building a bomb. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's not a step-by-step, -step, but those are instructions. What the hell? To be fair, ChatGPT is the least of our problems. Like an uncensored model would do much worse. Okay, so apparently there's instructions on how to make napalm elsewhere on the internet. Not that that excuses ChatGPT for telling me how to. And based on them, I think ChatGPT's instructions would have blown up my house. <laughs> Nipping terrorism in the butt, I guess. Okay, so why is this concerning? Well, like with any tool, if billions of people have access to it, even if 0.0001% misuse it, that's still thousands of bad actors. And this time the tool is an increasingly intelligent and powerful AI that could help you build a bomb or a biological weapon that takes out magnitudes more people. So the barrier to entry is lower, but the potential size of an attack gets much bigger. That's pretty bleak. <laughs> but there are solutions that you can contribute to. We need really smart and dedicated people working on AI to make sure that it can't be misused in these ways. So if that sounds like you, head over to bluedot.org where we offer free resources to help you start that journey and follow us for more AI safety explainers.